Hello everybody, Aki here, and welcome back to Hand in Hand Episode 2. Um, yeah, let's get back in. Uh, we just got one of the dolls. Okay, you came out of the boys' bathroom. Still following me? And, uh... <laughs> Uh, I'm recording this ahead of time, and I'll probably be recording a few more games ahead of time, because, uh, what's today's date? The 26th? Uh, the day that I'm recording. Um, I have to go pick up a key. <laughs> hey, we got a key. I have to go pick up my cousin from, uh, camp, uh, tomorrow, and, uh, He's going to be staying over for a week uh, because I'm having a graduation party on the 4th of July. So I won't have as much time to record since he'll be here. <clears throat> I don't know how much I'm going to record, but uh, for sure I'm going to try and get this game done at least. And probably another corpse party game or something. Oh, this one didn't open, right? Yes! Found a band-aid. God! I don't need band-aids! I need to find a way out of here. There's people yelling in my house. Okay, you're in the... Why are you in the women's bathroom this time? Women's bathroom, not woman. I don't know. <clears throat> Show joy. If you guys did not know, oh, I found a baseball bat. Hell yeah! Can I? Wait, can I put? Yes. I am equipped to fight. <laughs> Anyways, if you guys don't know, I am very. Very, uh, I guess you could say I, I really, really enjoy Shoujo Ai. Not, not, well, like, maybe like 30% of it is in a typical boy sense, but I am a sucker for romance, and when I see girls' love. It, it just makes me... Uh, I just tingle. It sounds weird, but... Hey, don't make fun of me. <coughs> I want to say it's like the purest form of love because... I, uh... I would... Well, that's my excuse. For anyone that asks me, um... I remember last year, I was sitting down in mythology class, and, uh... <laughs> God, open! Yeah, I was sitting down in mythology class, and I... My friends and I were talking about, uh... The anime at the time, and I mentioned Sakura Trick, which is a Yuri Shoujo Ai anime. As well as Akuma no Riddle. And <laughs> one of my friends, uh, he, he's not very into anime. He's very, uh, he's very an outdoorsy guy. He, he plays rugby and he's like 6'4". He's freaking giant compared to me. And he gives me this weird look and I just had to say like, it, it's the purest love. Stop making. It's, don't don't give me that look, and whatever. It's a lot funnier than than how I tell it, because I really suck at storytelling. Is there anything in this pot? No. Oh wait, the roof, because there was there was uh, a locked locker in there. A locked locker. There we go. A utility knife and then no oh my god he was right there 
Oh my god, I ran into him too. Holy crap. Ugh, I can't talk. Oh, if you, if you guys didn't see that, he, uh, <laughs> use the utility then. Uh, the shadow, shadowy figure walked right into me as I went down and we found some aroma beads. Which I am assuming we can put on Akari. Accessory? Nope. Run those! Use the utility knife. Found classroom 3A key, which is up here. Ooh, there's a thingy. Is that another doll? Yes. That's the second one. If we find the last one, we should be able to go home. How can you be so sure that the shutters will open if we return the three dolls? Oh, I was just wondering about that earring you're wearing. She dodged the subject. This? Is it a favorite of yours? You could say that. More like it's the only earring I own. <laughs> I get to choose. Shizu, you're even cuter. I'm cute? You feeling alright? So, what's the catch? What with you suddenly admiring my earrings out of the blue? I just noticed how pretty it is. I see, so you were making small talk. Now I get it. You wouldn't normally talk to someone like me. So you decided to just talk about my earring instead. Makes me want to pity you. You're wrong! apologize to her. I'm sorry. <laughs> no worries, it's fine. You were slightly offended and thought I was making fun of you, but you pushed that aside and gave me a sincere apology. I'm willing to forgive, you, forgive and forget. We should get going. We have to find the third doll. It's also starting to get really dark. More like it's already pitch black. And then the music just comes back. Found a wound spray. She could have just said a first aid spray. Just, just saying. Wait a minute. Okay, I forgot where the, the teacher's office was. Or the principal's office. I have a feeling that that was like some kind of... Because that was the only time we actually made a choice in Classroom 3C key. Yeah, let's go. Um, And since that was the only choice not the only choice since that was the uh, only like choice sequence I feel like that's that would be an, okay no I was supposed to save it wanted me to save the blue colored wooden Kokeshi doll was here after all that makes all three we should be able to get home now Shimata. Akari, that sound. Ah! Those are footsteps. Let's hide. You mean the both of us? Shh, don't get- don't worry about it, just get in. Oh, no! No! Oh. You tricked me. I thought it was gonna be like, Outlast. Ah. Oh. Give me that key. Oh, base kick. <clears throat> Let me save this time. Record entry number 10. Let me just check these things in case. Oh, Roma beats just... I thought they were like an actual item. That, uh...
What's hiding here? You mean the both of us? Uh-oh. Oh, God, that shadow trolls the hell out of us. Are they gone? Seems like it. Shall we go? Oh, hold her hand. Shizu? Ah, I'm sorry. Don't be. Somehow, it's calming. It's about time we get out. Yeah. Right then, now we can go back to the principal's office. We can finally go home. This is the game. <laughs> oh, you. Oh, that guy's waiting for us. Shizu, don't worry, leave it to me. We're gonna fight. I will take you on. Round house! And she's gonna jump, she's in it. Let's go to another round house. Let's jump, she's in it. Oh man, I thought he's losing a lot of health. Oops, Yes! Your assailant has been staved off for now. Better run. <laughs> You're so strong, Shizu. You want to feel my muscles? The hell? That's way too easy. The electricity's back on. Not only that, but I also heard the shutters open just as we put that doll back. The rumors are about these dolls are true. Seems so. Although, who moved these dolls in the first place? Who knows? The ones I've seen on campus are... It was Akari's fault. It was Akari's fault. It's that kitty cat again. Maybe it's possible that the cat had the dolls in its mouth and dropped them off somewhere. No, that, that does not make sense. Because... Cats cannot open boxes and put on s and, and, and put tape on them. So obviously it was Akari's doing. This is like some black senpai stuff. Now we can re finally relax and take a breather. Couldn't have said it any better. I'm ready to go home and get some sleep. Oh yeah, I have some chocolate on me. Do you? Would you like some, Shiza? I'm fine. I would like an energy drink, though. Or, actually, I could really go for a quick smoke break. You can't do that. Have you forgotten? I'm the student council president. Smoking is against the rules. Yeah, yeah, I got it. So, can you quit your preaching? Ah, I'm very sorry. It's cool. It's weird of you to apologize for that. I'll stop smoking at school. Let's go home. Of course. Somehow, the air here feels so wonderful. Well, we're outside now, so I think it's time for a smoke. No, smoking is terrible. You can stop now. It's not like we're in school. I forbid it. Why are you getting your panties in a bunch? Because it's my job as student council president. I have to watch over the younger students and make sure the rules aren't broken. Therefore, so long as I'm the student council president, there will absolutely be no smoking. You've got a lot of fight in you. Fine then, I won't smoke at school, or at least in front of you. Well, that seems to be it for us. <clears throat> I intend for things to go back to normal starting tomorrow. Back to normal? You heard me. We're not even in the same class, and it might stay that way even after we graduate. Besides, she can't stand me. I'm one of those delinquents, and you're the student council pres. That's not true at all. Huh? 
You may be a delinquent, but today, we both worked our hardest to get out of this school. Well, it's not really that hard. I mean, it's pretty mediocre compared to some other games that I've played. Hey, you led me and we escaped together. That's why I don't want you to start treating me like a stranger tomorrow. But I'm a... You're my friend. Oh, that reminds me, Shizu. Let's go to the library together. The novels there have all sorts of great genres. Thanks. The next day, Akari couldn't help but worry about what happened yesterday and had to check on the wooden Kokeshi dolls in the principal's office. The principal then had the student council president swear not to tell anyone that he was about to tell her. Those three wooden dolls were actually a security system. Every day, the principal would take one of the wooden dolls home with him to ensure that the school will not be on lockdown so that no doors or windows can be opened. The wooden dolls were actually keys to the security system. One could see from the TV monitor behind him if anyone was inside the school and if security system was running properly, but on that day, the principal had important business matters to attend to and forgot to grab one of the wooden dolls to take home with him. A cat who appeared to wander onto campus moved the wooden dolls and that triggered the security system. Or so we thought. Early the next morning, a student came for club activities at the gym storage room. They unrolled one of the floor mats only to find a man bound inside. Upon this discovery, they tipped off the police. <coughs> the man was actually wanted for the Momoyama Bank robbery a couple of days ago. How he came to be inside wrapped a floor mat was a riddle itself. He was barely conscious and frothing at the mouth. Since his encased silhouette bared resemblance to the wooden Kokeshi doll, the students all thought that it was the mark of their curse. And that means the man we fought was... Wooden doll curse or not, there are lots of questions that needed answers. Even if a cat did manage to knock off those wooden dolls, how do you explain the one tucked behind a bathroom stall? Or the one hidden inside a locked classroom? Or the one sealed inside a cardboard box? Or even why keys suddenly fell from the household altar after returning them? Though there were many unsolved mysteries, I don't look back at it with unpleasant memories. Then again... <clears throat> Akari, you're still here? The librarian has gone, already gone home. Give me a moment, I'll be done in about two hours. Two hours? I'm kidding. Come on. I want to grab a clucky burger. <laughs> Planning on making a pit stop on the way home? They're currently having a promotion on their latest burger. I love burgers. Seems like as good as any time to give it a try. You've changed, Dakari. Alrighty, let's go to Clucky's. It'll be my treat. You're so sweet, Shizu. I love you. Quit it with the I love you stuff. It's embarrassing me. And that is how I... Yeah. And that is how Akari Hiyoki became my closest friend. The kind you'd normally expect from someone you knew since kindergarten. Even after becoming close friends, you couldn't tell with my often serious demeanor, but I'd be the one to always lose in our little quarrels. She's a bit of a nag at times, but I don't expect this friendship to end for a very, very long time. Nay, that's it. You know what, I'm actually kind of glad that this game was short, because now I have time to record some more things for the coming week. Anyways, aside from that, uh, this game, it's not very story heavy, it's more gameplay driven, I guess. It's your very uh, cookie cutter RPG maker horror game where you have to search for events and certain triggers to move on to the next point of the game. Uh, I don't know how I didn't finish this in one part, but it's whatever. Um, if you wanted to give this game a try, as always, I'll leave a link in the description. Uh, it's a fun little game. Uh, 
think it was like made for a contest, but it's whatever. Anyways, the end, the normal end. Wait a minute. I read somewhere that there was like a good end. Huh. Okay. Give me a second then. I think the true end would be us becoming a couple. But we'll see. I'll I'll be right back. Uh if it's not the end. Uh if it is the end, sorry. I will end the video here. Uh if not, I'll keep going. So the problem here is that I couldn't figure out exactly how to get that uh, good end. So I'm just going to show you guys a bunch of Yuri anime that I have seen and would definitely recommend because this RPG Maker game didn't really show that much Yuri aside from the choices and the uh, end sequence. Anyways. Here we have Yuri Yuri. Uh, it's very slice of life like. Uh, go ahead and watch it. It's pretty uh, entertaining, pretty funny. Uh, if you want something with story, I wouldn't go to this. This is more of a uh, just random nonsense and other stuff. Next is Sakura Trick. This came out last year, I think, and it's about. I forgot how many cult- I don't think I've- eh. Anyways, Sakura Trick. There's a lot of kissing. Like, every episode, there's a kiss scene. And it's so... Dramatic. Go ahead and watch it. It's entertaining. Next is Strawberry Panic, a personal favorite. Um, I forgot how many episodes long it was. I think it was like 25. Somewhere in the 20s, whatever. And... It's about... I don't even remember the characters. Okay, the girl in white is like the Oneya-sama, like the most popular girl, student council chick. And then the, the one with red hair and a ponytail, she's just a freshman and they fall in love and it's like super dramatic and really cool. Go watch it. This is like one of the best Yuri anime that I've seen. And the last one is Akuma no Riddle. Um, this came out last season, I'm pretty sure. And if you're more into, uh, action-y type of things, this would be recommended for you. It's, uh, basically, Tokaku, the one in the blue hair, saves Haru? Haru? Yeah, Haru. And, yeah, they, she fights off assassins. There's, like, 13 assassins. And they have to kill Haru, which is the red. Is that red or is that pink? Is that salmon? It's salmon? No, it's red. Or is it orange? No, it's red. It's salmon. And they try to kill her. And Tokaku ends up protecting her. So, there you go. Watch this if you're into some random crap and nonsense. Uh, I actually used Akari in one of the videos uh, for Hand in Hand, the first one. Uh, this one, another random, a lot of kiss. If you like kissing scenes, th this y you can watch this one. Uh, <laughs> this one, this one's more story driven. It's a lot. I would definitely recommend it for your first Yuri anime if you've never seen any of it. Any kind of girls love anything. I definitely recommend that. And then, if you're into action, if you like girls fighting each other, Hunger Games, Batum, whatever, watch this. Yeah. And I looked, did some studying, because Toshiaki was... He didn't really like the term Shoujo Ai. See, the thing about Shoujo Ai is that Shoujo Ai is more of a US term which would be used for uh, girls romance or girls love but over in Japan it means something completely different and it's more of a of an offense so we're just gonna call everything Yuri from now on 
because yuri is the correct term in japan while shoujo ai is more of a u.s term so we're just gonna go with yuri anyways i didn't get the ending but i left you guys with some great uh suggestions so yeah uh i'm gonna be playing the behind the scenes for the making of hand in hand right now wait a minute there's a behind the scenes thing going on here so here we go thank you for completing my game this is the creator of Ruki Ruki Nanase this game was developed not only with horror elements but also as a shoujo eye game which features romance between girls while considering that kind of game I should make I realized I hadn't written a game about shoujo eye before Therefore, I thought it'd be a good opportunity to start making one, lol. However, I didn't think there would be a place where it could be accepted. But then I came across a festival called Girls Party, a RPG tea cool event where people can submit games with beauty, sexual scenes involving two females, or shoujo eye elements. I initially wasn't familiar with the concept. concept of shoujo eye myself, so I went to Google and Wikipedia to do some research. Haha. <laughs> Whether I was going to depict the love between a man and a woman, or a love between two women, I wish to make this game in my own style. Because this was done in my style, I want to sincerely apologize if you played this and felt this isn't shoujo eye at all. I feel like I have to say that every time because I think I'm terrible at writing love scenes, and it always comes out so awkward. Lol. To divert attention away from my failed attempts at writing shoujo ai, I used horror elements as a distraction. Not to mention, when I made Shizune Takasugi, the short-haired girl, she ended up looking a lot like a character from Pretty Cure, and she kinda did. I'm not quite sure how Shizune ended up like that, but it was something I noticed offhand, laugh out loud. With that legend involving the Japanese wooden Kokeshi dolls, it's something I came up with on a whim after watching some on TV. Unfortunately, there's no deeper meaning behind them. Now that I think it back to this game, it was just five days before the deadline when I discovered, yeah, discovered the girls' party festival. It was quite a time crunch for me. In the end, I didn't make it in time for the girls' party deadline, so I emailed them saying that I would be late with my entry. And what do you know, they decided to lengthen the de deadline after that. This was the first time I had contacted them too. What nice people. Smiles. I'll plan my projects better and try not to be late with the deadlines in the future, sweat drop. Thank you for taking the time to read this behind the scenes look at Hand in Hand. You're welcome. I enjoyed your game. Alright. Uh, that was it. Um, thank you guys for <laughs> sitting down, joining me, and watching me play hand in hand. Um, don't forget to follow me on Twitter and like me on Facebook for the latest updates on my future projects. And aside from that, this is Aki. Have a great day, and remember to always stay safe.